Hey everybody, hi. Truly living lesson from the land of Aloha. I'm in Hawaii and I wanted to talk about tethering, right? Tethering. Oftentimes when you have a whole bunch of stuff happening that's causing a lot of chaos and discontent in your life, it's because you've either tethered your boat to somebody's or somebody has tethered to you. And if somebody's tethering to your boat, and using this as a metaphor for your life, right, your life, they try to take control of, of your situation. <laughs> They're the pirate in your world. And when their boat starts rocking, your boat starts rocking. So you need to uh, disconnect, whether that's from your kid, your friends, uh, a colleague at work, you know, whoever it is, whatever it is that's tethering to you. And be conscientious of what it is and who it is that you're tethering yourself to. And cut those cords. And you can cut the cords energetically. Uh, upon request uh, to your guides or you can find a, a lovely little method. I like to use one um, that comes out of Reiki uh, and also some shamana practices. You just sort of imagine all those cords sort of coming up and you know cutting them off on a regular basis or you can actually visualize the person or the situation go into a meditative state and dissolve the cords visually and with your own power. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Obviously, you can also no longer answer the phone, give till it hurts, and allow people to interfere. So drive your own boat, don't let anyone tether to it, and don't tether to anybody else. And aloha, and I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for watching.